Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as the title says everybody, my Miami Wolf Spider has sadly passed away and she's in this enclosure here. Now, if you remember, I did a video on her on the 19th of October, which was only four days ago, and she was looking very, very lethargic and very sluggish in that video, so I thought she might be um, slowly dying and uh, I was absolutely spot on. So as you know, I bought her from the uh, British Tranchler show on the 21st of May, which was only five months ago. And uh, with wild caught specimens, and plus she was an adult female as well, I didn't know how old she was. So she must have been a fairly old female, but she gave me a sack, which is a uh, good thing to remember. So let's take the enclosure off the shelf and uh, let's take a look. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. My adult female, Miami Wolf Spider. And I've just noticed her like this this morning, yeah. She's definitely uh, passed away, ladies and gentlemen. She's in death curl. So like I said, I've had her for about five months. And she's gave me some fantastic videos over the last five months. Some beautiful takedowns. And like I said, she gave me a nice sack as well with over... 60 or 70 babies and there's something moving just there I wonder what that is let's just zoom in a bit more oh that could be look like a mite there you can just see just see it moving just there that could be a mite but as i say i'll throw all this substrate away and uh bury my miami wolf spider off camera so like i said she gave me over 60 babies and i have got four babies left from that sack which i am keeping for a breeding project so let's have a quick look at them uh, four slings so everyone four pictures of my four slings so hopefully i'm going to be breeding them next year so while i'm here everybody let's give you a quick update on my brachypalma homori that's got that uh, dyskinetic syndrome so everybody there is my brachypalma homori and as you can see it's eating again uh, i gave it a super worm this morning or mario worm and there's a little bit of a part of a mario worm just by its abdomen Personally, I think it's a male, but uh, hopefully I'm wrong. But uh, it's still got the dyskinetic syndrome. It's going to uh, hopefully take not too long for it to moult. But like I said yesterday, I'm going to be power feeding it. Somebody uh, commented on my video yesterday and said, why don't you power feed it? Well, I did actually say in the video I was power feeding it anyway. <laughs> so I'm presuming that person didn't watch the full video. But it's eating again which is very, very good. And unfortunately, the uh, mature male, Grandma Solar Rosea, that's got the dyskinetic syndrome as well. And as you know, I was gonna post that out um, today, um, but unfortunately I can't now. So there's not really much I can do with the, uh, the mature male, because obviously he's fully grown. So yeah, some good news, it's eating again. And I'll um, do the best that I can. I know the substrate's a little bit damp, but uh, it is starting to uh, dry out, as you can see, very, very quickly. So I'll give it another couple of days. This substrate will be nice and dry for this Brachypalma species. They like it dry anyway. So a little quick update on my B. Hamori. Sorry about that, everybody. My uh, battery just died on my iPhone. So I hope you enjoyed this video everybody and uh, thanks for watching everyone.